Let's talk about vaporizers, misters, nubilizers, humidifiers. It comes in various names, but that's what these are. Okay, these are the ones that I've purchased off Amazon. You're talking like $35, $40 in that range. They're both the same uh, that way, but they there are differences. So depending on which what you're looking for in a vaporizer, it's you're going to want a different one. So this is my little review of uh, these things. Um, and that way you can make a choice. Now, it doesn't even matter about brand name because these things come under different brand names, but it's essentially the same unit. So let's talk about the benefits uh, and of each one. And we'll talk about like the, the negative things I don't like about them as well and how they work. Okay, so over here, this one, this bugger right there, uh, what I do like about it is that it creates a lot of fog. So we've, you can kind of see it at the top probably. This is minimum. Uh, standard right here so it just turned on and it's got this dial at the bottom here and you can just kind of move it clockwise and then obviously you can see it just probably panning out lots of fog now look at that you can actually put on maybe a small death metal concert with this it becomes a fog machine essentially amazing and then you can always dial that back now with that much fog or mist or water vapor uh, comes obviously it becomes very thirsty so the one other good thing about this over this one is that it's got a massive reservoir so we're talking uh, one and a half liters of water as opposed to uh, 500 milliliters so it's half a liter of water for this one so much much larger tank uh, you can probably if on minimum uh, setting you could run it all day so you can just kind of leave it on and I usually put it on near like um, a heat register or somewhere around or you can put around your like if you have tropical plants that like more moisture have it hovering around there and, and then shoot the water vapor into it as well um or uh, at in in the bedroom as well so i'll have it like by the nightstand so that you get that moisture at night so you're not all dried out from if you have if you're in a cold weather climate and you have like forced air and that that sort of dries dries the uh, the atmosphere you're going to want one of these and you can also add in uh, essential oils as well so if you have a cold or something you put in eucalyptus uh, a couple drops like five drops or you know if you're more sensitive maybe one drop or two and then it shoots that into the air as well or if you have like anxiety issues or whatever you need uh, some something to help you with sleep you can use like lavender or whatever so it accepts that readily no problem they're all cold cold vapor cold steam so it uses like uh, uh, ultrasonic uh, frequencies or something like that to produce that so it's not like a hot steam uh, so it's safe around pets or you know children I guess if you're a child as well um, okay uh, so huge reservoir lots of fog the only thing I don't like about this one um, is it it the color is actually on if you can believe it, there's a LED. They usually light up. They act as kind of lamps. This is <laughs> super dim and it's overpowered by this power light, this LED power on light that tells you that it's on. This is blue and it will light up your room in the dark. And it just it's actually brighter than the LED that cycles through in, in the background. So what I'll do is I'll turn the lights off in a second. You can kind of see it. Like that. It's very dim and it's giving you a real realistic approach. So let me turn the light off uh, on this one and then you can see it cycle through. So that's kind of, that's, that's about it. But you can see how bright and there's actually some marker put on top of that. So it's trying to dim it. I put like tape on another one where you're just trying to, but it, it goes th through the whole apparatus there and just beams into your whole bedroom. So if you're if that bothers you at night, like if you're trying to sleep with it on, this is probably not going to be a good pick for you. So you're going to want to take that one uh, because it doesn't have any like bright lights that will bother you as well. So um, hopefully you can see that. Put the lights back on here so you can see the product. Um, and then this thing here swivels, swivels around. So there's two nozzles that you can move and point in whatever direction. And what you do to uh, fill the reservoir is remove this tank and it's like an upside down thing. So I'm just going to turn it off for a second and then you're going to lift it up and then there's a cap right here 
and you just kind of unscrew that there's an opening you fill it up with tap water or you're supposed to be using distilled water so you don't get like calcium buildup or whatever if there's hard water put the cap back on put it back on the stand like this and there you go she's ready to start steaming again uh, over here uh, this one's really good because it doubles as almost like a night light and you can go through you can cycle through um, this one doesn't have a timer or anything so uh, when it runs out it just has that blue light goes red and it just shuts off and it just stays into that mode this one here you've got a timer on it as well so if you only want it for there's 60 minutes 120 minute 180 minutes and on so it'll go until it's dry and then it'll do one beep and shut off so that's that's a handy feature this is a great one for the night but unfortunately um, if you have it on high so there's a high and low setting so I'll put it on on right now there's a little light that you can hardly see there let me turn the light off again there's I think you can see the power light so it cycles through so every time you hit mist turns it on and you go up through the the timer and then on to on and then like I said when it runs out of water it shuts off but it's only half a liter of water in there uh, on the high setting so there's high and low button right here so two beeps means low one beep means high high setting you're looking at three to five hours low setting you're looking at probably about eight hours which is still pretty good there's ones on um, other alternatives that are smaller I wouldn't recommend that because you'll be filling it all the time and it becomes quite annoying so this one's cool because you can have it with the mist no light and then that's unobtrusive at night so if you want it in the bedroom and you don't want extra light because it bothers your sleeping or you can have it with a light and it'll cycle through or you can actually so there's white light and we'll let it go for a second so you can see it cycle through the different LED uh, lights and it's just uh, slow speed goes through them nice and easy and you can have them just light light and mister or just mister so it's there's a lot more options with this one and you can see how much brighter the light is on on this one but it just overpowers it so it's a really cool kind of and it's the shape's a bit more pleasant too it blends in with more scenery as well uh like your um, decor in your house i think and then you can either if you like a certain color so we'll just wait for the next color to come up for example and if you hit the light button it'll freeze it on that so it'll keep it steady. So we got a nice little turquoise. I want to have that ocean effect or something, that mood. So good for meditation or whatever. And uh, it'll just stay on that one. Or you can just keep hitting the button and it will cycle through all the different ones. And then you pick your favorite. Or, so it'll be white and then off. So you just cycle through if you want it off. Uh, and that's basically how that works. And this one has a lid that comes off. It's pretty simple so you just have the whoop you just have the lid apparently I only have one arm today so there it is working and you just fill it up 500 mils put the back put the lid back on and it just comes out of this um, hopefully you can kind of see it's it's a lot more subtle the vapor but it is there so you can see that so that's on high and low realistically does it's not that much different but um, usually you want to leave it on high unless you want to have it go for a while and um, with its design it has to go through all the water before the vapor can come out so by its design I don't know if it's a, you can call it a flaw or it's just how it is but when you fill it up it's it spews out less vapor until it starts to diminish and then you get more vapor so that's kind of neat so if you're not concerned about having concert level fog then this is a great pick and if you like light and um, ambience and stuff like that I recommend that one but if you need it more like for utility like I, I really want crazy levels of fog then you want this machine here however this light is a big problem and I don't know you'd have to paint the whole thing probably in order to which kind of defeats the purpose of it doesn't it so uh, those are those two hopefully that was a quick review helps you out got them both on Amazon so uh, you can go uh, look for them as well so hope that helps I'll talk to you later